Here is an image of a mouse femur bone. We will use image J to measure the average width of this bone. Specifically, the diaphysis of the femur will be measured and the average width will be calculated. To measure the width, we will use a macro to perform the analysis. Head to the website as shown in the screen below. The link is also available in the description below. Download the macro and open the text file once downloaded. Simply copy the entire code and head back to image J and click on plugins, new and macro. In this macro window, paste the code. To save this macro, click on file, save as, rename the file with the extension .ijm and save it. This macro is now ready to be used. To store the result, a text or a CSV file is required. For instance, let us create a text file. Rename the text file according to your choice and select the directory and then save the text file. Now open the macro using image J. This macro can be run directly or it can be installed. Please visit the tutorial on how to install plugins and macros. The link is available in the description below. To run the macro without installing, click on Run. This pop-up window allows users to select the text file that was created to store the output result. Click OK to proceed and select the text file. The next pop-up will ask users to input the image of interest. Click OK and select the image of interest. We will measure the average width of the diaphysis in the femur. The action required window asks the users to draw a segmented line to mark one of the outermost edges of the diaphysis and then hit OK. Select the segmented line tool from above and draw a line at the outermost edge in the diaphysis. Once completed, click OK. The next action required window asks the users to draw a segmented line in the other edge of the diaphysis. At this time, the segmented line is converted into splines. Now, use the segmented line tool and draw the line along the edges. Once completed, click OK. The macro uses minimum of 3 and maximum of 15 points to calculate the average width between the two objects. To get the average width between the two lines, the shortest distances between points along the shorter line and the longer line are taken into account. In the next pop-up window, it asks the users whether to continue measuring additional images or to save the measurement and quit the macro program. Once the action is chosen, click OK. Now click on the text file that was created earlier. The text file contains the name of the input image, location of the file, time of measurement, and the results. Length line 1 corresponds to the first line generated at the edge of the diaphysis. Length line 2 corresponds to the other line generated at the other edge of the diaphysis. The distance would refer to the maximum of 15 points to calculate the average width. Measure is the average width of the femur. Therefore, the average width of the diaphysis in the femur is 44.9 pixels. The rest of the results are the mean, standard deviation, minimum, and maximum. Thanks for watching.